Well, it's time for that last break. We got five more to go and it's time to take things over to the ladies and Angela show us what we got. All right, well, this year the Governor's Challenge has expanded their girls teams as well. So let's take a look at those brackets. First off with the session one round one games on December 26th in bracket number one, Stephen Decatur will face McDonough. That game will be at the Civic Center. Then St. John's College High School out of D.C. will play Walt Whitman and this game will be at Bennett. Then in bracket number two, Mardella is going to be taking on Sanford and St. Joe's by the Sea will be playing Parkside. Both of those games will be at Bennett. Then jumping over to the session two girls brackets starting on December 29th. The brackets will start here with St. John's Catholic Prep. They will play Southern Garrett and Walkersville will be facing Pocomoke. Then over in bracket number two, Canesville will be taking on Bennett and Oakdale. We'll play Sherwood and last but not least in the John Coleman bracket. High Point will be playing Snow Hill and Thomas Stone will be taking on Y High. Both of those games will be played at Y High. Guys. Oh, this is going to be a great bracket right here. I tell you what, my favorite part about it is the fact that we have probably, arguably in my money anyway, the three best local yeah. teams in it, as yeah. well as the three best players. You got Decatur, you got Pokemoke, you got Mardello. They're mm -hmm. going to be all battling for that Bayside title. And you go over to what you got over there in Pokemoke. It'll be interesting. I mean, they're going to be stacked this year. They didn't graduate a lot. Dinesia Christian is still going to be a dominant player, the reigning Bayside player of yeah. the year. She already got her 1,000 points, and she's going to be adding to it a lot this year. <laughs> Speaking of 1,000 points, you over, you got... Deanna Godwin over at Decatur. She is fantastic. The problem over there is they graduated a ton, whether you look yep. at Petito, Van Kirk, yep. Beck. I mean, a lot of those girls are gone. She's going to rely on a lot of new pieces. They did have a big sophomore that came on last year in the post. She's going to be dominant again for them this year. But other than that, there's going to be a lot of question marks. And then same deal you got over there in Mardella. Yeah. Obviously, Demira Selby, a 2,000-point scorer. <laughs> she was real good. I mean, she did it twice, and now she's gone, obviously, playing D1 ball now. But Taylor Ross is the real deal. She's going to average about 30, 35 this yeah. year. She's going to be fun to watch. She's got to step from that Robin roll up into Batman. Yeah. But I'm so excited about how this tournament expanded. Uh, just 10 teams about 10 or a little bit more years ago. Over 100 now. Some great, great work by some great people, totally. Yeah, and shout out to James Simmons, who's sitting off camera here, yeah. tournament director from Wakamco County. Um, yeah, the girls' division, it's exciting. Last year was the first year where we had girls' teams, and now it's expanded led by National Power McDonough, and it's really deep, competitive, really good product that's coming to the Delmarva area. Okay.